Tonight, the conclusion to our series about a remote tribe in northern Thailand and how a retired Vancouver businessman has given them the tools to lift themselves out of poverty. John Darch has helped the Akka tribe turn their passion for coffee into a booming business. And while their beans may have put them on the map, it's their ability to diversify that's the key to their long-term success. Linda Aylesworth explains. High in the mountains of northern Thailand, in the Doi Chang Valley, conditions are ideal for growing lush, fruit-laden coffee trees. The Akka Hill tribe once earned a meager living growing opium here. Back then, those who could left their village to make money in the cities. But 20 years ago, they switched to coffee. When I start coffee business, all of member family come back to help because the coffee business is legal, so it make good money and better life. But it didn't make a better life right away. That happened when Canadian John Darch came along four years ago. He created the Vancouver-based Doi Chang Coffee Company, made the Akka farmers 50% owners, and offered them beyond fair trade prices for their beans. They've already earned enough money to expand from 200 acres to 8,000. No land is wasted. What isn't suitable for coffee is used to plant other crops, like certified organic blue oolong tea. It's one of the many ways the Akka are diversifying. Tea is one of the Akka's latest ventures. All of this tea is coming to Canada. Deutsche Bank Coffee is going to be buying all this tea, all of the crop, exclusively for Canada. Not only will the tea bring more money to the village, one day its seeds might too. You know, and you can extract to get the uh, tea oil out of it. And it's very good for medical, for this, for that, you know. That's, yeah. So another business. Another thing that think of it. There's a lot of thinking going on here. For example, since Arabica coffee doesn't like too much sunlight, they plant macadamia trees, a thousand a year. The shade they provide makes for more flavorful beans while producing yet another marketable product. And one day, this is what you have. You can sell this and quite a good price, you know. Suppose, this is macadamia nut. So inside of that... It's come like this with a shell. And so that's the next stage. Then, Here, with so many more it. plants... More bees were needed for pollination. So they built 300 hives and once again reaped the rewards. This year they'll produce three tons of organic Doi Chang coffee blossom honey. Most will be consumed, but some is finding a different use. They recently added soap to the Doi Chang line. It combines their organic honey, espresso coffee grounds, which act as a mild exfoliant, and a few other ingredients. Tanut Porn created it for her own use. I feel that I have dry skin, but when I have my own soap, I feel that my face gets healthier. From her small lab, 1,000 bars are produced every day. It's unique to be sure, but to see something truly unusual, rare even, we have to go back to where the coffee cherries grow. Just put the whole thing in your mouth? Yeah, the whole thing. Just the same thing as a cherry. And that's a coffee bean. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It tastes not too sweet, but Some it's cherries. nice. Some fruits. And this is what the civet wants. Ah. And this is what the civet leaves. Yes. <laughs> a civet is a shy, cat-like creature that roams the coffee fields at night, feasting on ripe cherries and leaving in its wake dung that's laden with beans, which, having passed through the animal's digestive system, undergo a chemical change that alters the taste. It's beautiful, sweet, you know, and very good aroma. It's sweet as honey. It's got different taste than the other coffee. Most civet coffee comes from animals that are kept in cages, but the Akka and Doi Chang prefer to collect it from wild civet cats. And you can see the poo, it's just like that. They also collect beans that the civet chews, then spits out. Either way, it's pricey stuff. Uh oh, a pound for $500, or something like that. Just one pound of this. You know, one cup they sell someplace like $35, $50, and all the money go to the foundation. That's great. 
The foundation uses the money brought in by all the things that Doi Chang produces to improve the lives of the Aka people in ways they could only dream of just a few years ago. I am happy because now the children can go and study and come back and help. We can see the next generation grow. And a reminder, you can watch Linda's earlier reports on the transformation of the Aka Hill tribe, along with some exclusive online video on our website. That's globaltvbc.com. Just look for the link on the homepage.